So in the previous videos we were introduced to the cost diagram but typically in those questions the quadrant that you had to work in was already given to you like this. They already started the question by telling you where you were and so they went and gave you a coordinate like that for example. And so you knew that you could work in this quadrant over here. However, most times or many times this is a different way that teachers like to test you is they're not going to tell you which quadrant you are in well they are going to tell you but in a sort of backwards kind of way and so you need to know how to work out which quadrant you are in before you can start drawing your triangle because if you draw your triangle in the wrong quadrant you're going to get the wrong answers and so we are going to have to solve a little mystery over here so we know that we have this thing called the cast diagram where it starts here at C then A then S and then T. So let's solve this mystery. They're telling us that the first piece of information, well they tell us that sin of this angle is positive. Can we see that 3 over 5 is a positive? So where is sin positive? Well we know that all of them are positive there, so that includes sin, and sin is also positive over here. Okay, so we know that tan and cos are out. It can't be there because sin has to be positive. Then they're telling us that the angle has to be between 90 and 360. Now this is something I haven't explained. The cast diagram starts over here and it goes all the way around and it goes back to there. So it starts off at 0 degrees. Here this is 90 degrees, so this is a 90. Then we've got another 90 over here, so this is 180. And then another 90 degrees takes us to 270. And then another 90 takes us all the way back to the start where this will be 300 and 60 degrees. So they're telling us that the angle has to be between 90 and 360. So that means it can be anywhere over there. That's between 90 and 360. So that means it could be this one, this one, or this one. However, we said that the T and C, or the tan and cos, is already out. And so which quadrant satisfies both conditions? Well, that's the sin quadrant, right? And so that is where we are going to draw our triangle. And so there we can draw our triangle. We know that it's going to be a 90 degree. Technically, this theta, remember the theta always starts here. If we looked at the previous videos and it goes round, 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 round like that. And so we put theta over there. However, when we're doing our calculations, we're going to base everything off of this point over here. Now, that, now we need some numbers for our triangle. We can't just have an empty triangle. Luckily, they've told us that the sin of theta is 3 over 5. And we know that, we know Sokotoa, right? So we know that sin is opposite over hypotenuse. And so they're telling us that the opposite is 3. So the opposite of that red number must be, that red circle must be 3. And the 5 must be the hypotenuse, right? Because we know that sin theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And they've already filled in the opposite as a 3, and they filled in the hypotenuse as a 5. Then how could we find this length of a year? Well, that's going to be Pythagoras, but Pythagoras in reverse, because now we already have the hypotenuse. And so we can say 5 squared equals to 3 squared plus x squared. I'm just calling this x over here. Then you could take this 3 squared over to the left-hand side, and that's 5 squared minus 3 squared. And so on the left side, you're going to end up with 16 and if you take the square root, you're going to end up with 4. And so this length over here is 4. But because it's in the negative x-axis, we'll just put a little minus there to remind us that. And so there, our triangle is complete. And now we can actually go on to the question, which says, determine without the use of a calculator the value of cos theta. Well, cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so we've got the adjacent as minus 4. So we can say cos theta equals to minus 4, and the hypotenuse is 5, and that's the end of the question.